Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. Chris Hervishan explains the difference between do-it-yourself and outsourced accounting for your small business through his accounting firm, Strategic Operational Accounting Resources, a WHHI-TV news partner. Chris, welcome. Thank you so welcome much. Welcome to the Thanks show. For having me. So what is the advantage of monthly, monthly outsourcing versus just handling, handling every, handing everything over to the accountant uh, at the end of the year? Good question. So uh, typically what happens is um, we have clients who we affectionately refer to as shoebox clients, right? So you collect all your receipts, throw them in a shoebox, put them under the bed, go to your accountant April 10th, hand them over, right? <laughs> so what then we have to do is put together some books and records, right? Uh, financial statements, tax return, hand it back to you, you sign it, send it off. Well, there's a couple of problems with that. Number one, um, you don't have that information, that guidance throughout the year to make decisions about your business. Right. Right, and then you've got that rush at the end of the year. So what we can do is clean it up, automate it, and then make sure it's a smooth process throughout the year. So you have the information, we have the information, and then you can operate effectively off of that. Certainly makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Right, <laughs> right. So uh, what is going on in the small business and specifically the accounting environment uh, where this is becoming more popular? I would say the biggest thing is cloud um, technology. Apps going to the cloud, software services going to the cloud. Uh, easy it, storage, isn't it? Easy storage, easy access. So you can access the same thing that I'm accessing in real time. Um, and I, you know, the accounting profession is not uh, is not immune from that, so right. to speak. Uh, accounting applications are going to the cloud. Um, business applications are going to the cloud. And then what we can do is we can marry the two. So we've got a good um, basis for reporting for you, so that you can make those strategic decisions that you need to make. And so, is this outsourced accounting uh, service, is this a common in, in your profession now, or is this fairly new? It's less common than it needs to be. Okay. Less common than it needs to be. It does exist. Um, there is that trend that's moving toward outsourced accounting, especially cloud-based outsourced accounting. Uh, I was at a conference in June, an AICPA conference, and they gave an interesting stat, mm -hmm. which was only 60% of CPAs plan on having cloud interaction by the end of 2018. Which wow. is, it's a shocking number. Right. You, you would think that that should be 100%. Absolutely. My Especially the way technology is going. Exactly. For instance, my business has been on the cloud since 2011. Mm. So we've got a little bit of a jump on that. Yeah. Um, but that's the way that, that it's going and that's the way that, uh, you know, I think it needs to be in the future in order to get businesses what they need. Yeah. That's very interesting. So how does a small business owner interact with you if they are an outsourced accounting client? Right, so we will automate as much as possible on the front end. Mm -hmm. So there's really only a couple of types of data collection that need to happen to put your books together. So who you pay, mm -hmm. so there's your invoices and vendors and things like that. Who pays you, clients and customers, um, potentially inventory, property, plant, and equipment, stuff like that. Um, but we can automate most of that. Right. Um, so we'll work together to do that. You're, you're still going to have to send invoices to your clients if you have sure. a, you know, a retail establishment. You're still going to have to run the register, right? But um, for the most part, we can automate that. And then what we'll do, put together um, your financial statements every month, put together a dashboard so you can, you can have real-time access to your, um, to your data. And then we'll meet every month, every quarter, whatever's most convenient. And, and review we, everything. Yeah, and then we'll tell the story of what, right. that, what all that actually means. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Is there more work required on the part of the small business owner in this situation? No, okay. definitely not. Uh, that's the whole point, is to make it as easy on the business owner as possible. Automate as, automate as much as possible, and then you know it makes it easier for everybody, and then we end up getting better data out of it, better information. And you don't have to, as the business owner, you don't have to remember a year's worth of um, uh, things that might be a question at the end of that year. <laughs> right, the old hunting and pecking through the through the bank statements and the credit card statements, Amen. right? Amen. This is personal, this is business, exactly. this is personal. Exactly, yeah. exactly. We get rid of that. <laughs> so does it cost a lot more to do outsourced ac accounting on a frequent basis versus just doing it once a year? Well, if you do it once a year, um, you're going to get billed by the hour to do all the cleanup, right? That's expensive, um, it's time consuming, and you may or may not get what you want, like we were just saying, mm -hmm. right? The old hunting and pecking through the, through the bank statement. Um, so there's that. Um, secondly, if you do it throughout the year, you've got that information so you can make decisions about your business. Quickly. Right. So that business growth that you could potentially see by making good decisions on good data, mm -hmm. far, it, that's by far a benefit, right? Yes. And then the other thing, outsourced accounting, generally is going to be cheaper than having an in-house bookkeeper. Yeah. In-house bookkeepers can run 40, 45,000. You've got benefits and the payroll and all that 
not so much with outsourced accounting. I like it all. All great information. I look forward to seeing you next month. Thanks so much. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.